Hey guys, Chris from Adapt Solution here, and in this video, I'm going to show you the solution for question 1 from the May 2014 POA paper 2. If you want to see the solutions to the other questions on this paper, I'm going to put a card up there and a link in the description below. So be sure to check those out as well. And with that said, let's get into the question. So this is a partnership question, and the name of the partners are Swigger and Thirst. They entered into a partnership business, or business partnership, sorry, on the 1st of January 2013. The total amount of capital contributed to the partnership was 60000 Swigger contributed 40000 of the total capital and Thirst contributed the balance. Okay. It is now six months since the partnership was formed. Okay, so I think with that information, let's take a look at the first requirement. So the first part of the question is asking us how much of the capital did Thirst contribute? So it says that... The capital contributed to the partnership was 60,000 and Swigger contributed 40. So Thirst, therefore, would simply contribute the difference. And as you can see across here, it says Thirst contributed $20,000, which is 60,000 minus 40,000. Simple and straightforward. Let's take a read of the rest of the information in the question now. So it goes on to say that Swigger and Thirst agreed to share profits in the ratio 2 to 1, respectively. So that means once again, you add up these two numbers here, 2 plus 1, and you get 3, and you put each of those numbers over 3 to show the fraction of the profit that each partner will get at the end of the appropriation account. Now, if you are not too familiar with partnerships and you need to start from scratch, I'm going to put a card up there and a link in the description below to my partnership playlist. Check it out, and when you feel ready, come back and check out this question. If, however, you feel ready now, let's continue. So it goes on to say partners' drawings for the six months ended 30th June 2013 were. So we have a little table here showing the which partner and how, how much drawings, the value of drawings. Now, before I go any further, I just want to draw your attention to the fact that it says the six months ended 30th June 2013. Now, what that means is that we have only been in operation for six months. So things like interest on capital, interest on drawings, annual salaries, those things are going to need to be adjusted for the six month period. Remember, there are 12 months in a year. If we've only been operating for six, out, six months out of the 12, it means we've only been operating for half of the year. So the partners would only get half of the interest on capital or half of the salary or half of the interest on drawings. But let's not go too far into that, Jesse. Let's check out the rest of the information and then we'll bring it all together. So it also says that the following information is available for the six, first six months ended 30th June 2013. So we just talked about the six months thing, right? So what do we have here? We have profits calculated for the six months, 15,380. We have other revenues earned, but which were not yet included in profits, $620. So that simply means we have to add this 620 to the 15,380. Now, we also have interest on capital, 10% per annum. So remember what I said a minute or two ago, 10% per annum means for the whole year. But we are only going to be dealing with six months worth of that. Interest on drawings is 5% per annum. Again, per annum means per year. So that interest rate is going to have to be adjusted. And annual salary for thirst, 18,000. So annual again means for the whole year. And again, we're just dealing with a six month period. So we already had part A, which was how much of the capital did Thirst contribute? Let's take a look at part B. It says, prepare the appropriation account for the partnership for the six months ended 30th June 2013 and for 12 months. So again, my rule is a minute and a half per mark. So you're going to want to spend about 18 minutes on this question and no more. And note, they have the word six in capital letters to draw your attention to the fact that it's only the appropriation account is only being drawn up for a six month period for half a year. Okay, so let's get the information set up properly and let's start the appropriation account. Okay, as I always say, please don't forget to head up your statement, the name of the entity, name of the statement and the period to which it applies. Okay, so what are we going to put in first here? Well, we're going to start off with the profits calculated for six months of 15,380. And we're going to also add the other revenues of 620, which is said weren't yet added. So I'm just going to put that in one line. I'm not going to bother to dedicate a separate line to add additional revenue. So from there, where do we go? Well, before we jump into appropriate and profits, we have to add interest on drawings. So there's an interest rate here of 5% per annum. And don't forget, we also have a table showing the partner's drawings, Swigger 8,000 to 600. So let's go across to the appropriation account. 
And let's start populating that stuff. So add interest on drawing. So for Swigger, we're going to see 8,000. That's how much Swigger borrowed by 5%. That's the annual interest rate by 6 out of 12. Six months out of 12 months. So you can you can liken this to what you may have learned in math about simple interest. Principal by rate by time, where time is in years. So if it's only for six months, that's a half of a year. So 8,000 by 5% by 6 out of 12 is 200. Similarly, for Thirst, we're seeing 600 by 5% by 6 out of 12. So the same logic applies here. The interest rate is still 5% and you're still only charging interest for half of the year. And that amounts to $15 in total. So that's going to give us $215 worth of interest on drawings, which is added to the $16,000 above, which gives us profit before appropriation of $16,215. And now, on to the appropriation. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to calculate interest on capital, which is 10% per annum, which again will need to be adjusted for the six-month period. So for Swigger, remember Swigger contributed 40000 So we're going to do 40000 by 10% by 6 out of 12. Again, you can liken it to your simple interest calculation from regular math. Principal by rate by time in years. And of course, it's six months, which is half a year. So 40,000 by 10% by 6 out of 12 is 2,000. For Thirst, remember we calculated that Thirst contributed 20,000 worth of the in, um, initial capital, sorry. So 20,000 by 10% by 6 out of 12, that's going to give us a total interest on capital of 3,000. Now, don't forget we also have across here an annual salary for Thirst of 18,000. So annual means for the whole year. So since we're only dealing with a six month period out of that whole year, the salary for Thirst will only amount to 9,000, which you can show as 18,000 by six out of 12 or 18,000 by a half, right? I would say six out of 12 to show that you know it's six months out of 12, but multiplying by a half is still correct and it gives you the same answer. So our total appropriation will be 12,000, which we subtract from the 16,215 above to give us a profit after appropriation of 4,215, which we now have to share. So we share the remaining profit between the partners. Let's just check out the information to see what the profit sharing ratio was again. So we are seeing it here. Swigger and Thirst agreed to share profits in the ratio two to one respectively. So remember what I spoke about. You're going to add those two numbers together. Two plus one is three. And then you're going to put each of those numbers over three. The three is going to be like a common denominator. So it's a two third, one third split respectively to Swigger and Thirst. Let's see how that looks in the appropriation account. So Swigger gets two thirds of 4,215 and this gets well one third, half that amount. And when you total that up, we get the same 4,215, which of course, when you subtract it from this, leaves us with nothing in the appropriation account. Okay, now the next thing the question wants us to do is current accounts. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so the last part of the question asks us to do the current accounts for the partners. So I'm giving you guys a T account format which is what they usually bring on the CSEC paper. So we have on the debit side, a column for Swigger and a column for Thirst and the same thing on the credit side. It saves us time in terms of having not having to write over all of the details in multiple current accounts. Now current accounts show the earnings and withdrawals of the partners from the partnership. So if you pull up the appropriation account, that's actually going to show us all of the earnings, interest on capital, salaries, share of profit. The withdrawals are the interest on drawings as well as the drawings. So everything that we need to populate the current account is actually visible in the appropriation account, with the exception of the opening balances, of which there were none in this question because the partnership just started at the start of this particular period. So because of that, there'd be no opening balances. So the first thing we're going to put in, we're going to put in the interest on capital. And because it's earnings, it's going to go on the credit side. Next, we're going to put in the salary. Now, only Thirst had a salary, so you could put a zero figure on the Swigger. Then we're going to put in the share of profit for each partner, which is going to be 28, 10, and 14, 05. And now we can populate the debit side. The debit side will have both the drawings of 8,600 for Swigger and Thirst, respectively, as well as their interest on drawings of $215, respectively. Now comes the part where we balance off the current accounts. Now, for Swigger, if we look, Swigger's earnings were only about 4800 but Swigger withdrew about 8200 So Swigger is going to need a balance carried down from this side. Now, how do we find the balance carried down? We add up the figures in the debit column for Swigger, add up Swigger's credit items as well, and find the difference we subtract. And that's going to give us 3390 
And then we could repeat that for Thirst. Now, Thirst had about 11,405 on the credit side, but only 615 on the debit side. So I think we're definitely going to have a balance carried down from this side here. Now, of course, when you add up the columns for each of the partners, what you're going to get is the total. So Swigger, you see, Swigger has the same total on the debit side and credit side because of the balance. And Thirst also has the same total debit side and credit side because of the balance here. And of course, you bring those balances down to the next period and we are done with the question. Okay guys, so there you have it. That's the solution for question one from the May 2014 POA paper two. If you have any questions about anything that you've seen here today, please feel free to leave it in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to you when I can. If you want to check out any more videos, I'm gonna put some cards up here. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to check out my website where I have some free POA handouts you might find useful. Anyhow, guys, as per usual, thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time. Bye.